Hi guys, in this video I'll be discussing reproducing sexually and asexually as well as speeding up natural selection. Finally, a summary. Reproduction is when organisms make more of themselves. There are two types of reproduction, asexual and sexual reproduction. So some organisms can actually reproduce both asexually and sexually. So let's look at some examples. Well, malaria is caused by a parasite which is carried by mosquitoes. When you get bitten by a mosquito carrying the parasite, the parasite is transferred to the human. After the parasite is transferred to the human, the human is now infected. Now, the interesting thing is that malaria reproduces asexually in mosquitoes and the parasite reproduces sexually in humans. This means that the parasite can reproduce asexually as well as sexually. So another example is fungi. Fungi produce spores that produce a new fungus when it lands. So mushroom is a type of fungus and it produces these spores that can create new mushrooms. These spores can either reproduce asexually or sexually. Asexually produced spores mean the fungi formed are identical to the parent. As you can see here, these mushrooms look identical. However, when the environment changes and conditions become unfavourable, the fungi produced are genetically different to the parent. This is because in this case, the spores are produced sexually. So plants can produce seeds sexually and also reproduce asexually. So let's look at some examples of plants reproducing asexually. One plant that does this are strawberries. In strawberries, the parent plant produces runners. These runners grow strawberries identical to the parent. As you can see, the runner here is growing a new strawberry. Natural selection leads to evolution. Natural selection is when organisms become adapted to their environment. Sexual reproduction allows natural selection to occur, and we can speed this process up through selective breeding. So selective breeding is when organisms or individuals with desired characteristics like high milk yield are bred to produce offspring that share this characteristic. This is an example of a Belgian blue. This cow has been selectively bred to increase the amount of meat it produces. So selective breeding allows us to increase food production so we can breed animals like the Belgian Blue that produce a lot of meat. However, we can also breed cows that produce a lot of milk. This means selective breeding creates more money for farmers. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, Join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.